Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hey, how's it going? Good. Oh, How are you? Good. Pretty good. Thank you so much for your time to talk about Allegiance. I really appreciate Enrico Sapinder. It's going to be great to chat with you. Um, you know, I, Enrico, I want to start because I feel like reading the scripts and then going and filming this show, I feel like in a lot of ways are two separate journeys. But I'm wondering if it just felt like one big journey with multiple steps or did it really do, did feel like two journeys? I'm curious about that. Huh. Well, I mean, you know, film and TV in general happens three times. You know, you heard the old, the formula of like you write it and then you uh, perform it and then you cut it. So we don't know what it looks like. We, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to speak for Pinder as well. We had the best time filming it, but it was all based on what was on the page. We really didn't, we didn't alter it in any great way. We might have improvised a little bit. I will bit. say in terms of two journeys, I mean, there was like the, whatever was happening on set and then there was what we were doing. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. But it was always grounded in you know, the job and what we have to do and what was written on the page. We yeah. certainly brought our own love and chemistry to the table, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Absolutely. Spinder, I'm interested too because, you know, with crime dramas and everything happening, the audience member is very kind of immersed and like active and a detective and everything. And I'm just curious when you're making this show, how conscious are you of the audience member watching it while you're making it or does that happen a little bit afterwards once you wrap um i think the there's there's one facet i think from the audience when i'm first reading the script where i'm also an audience you know i'm not i'm not in it yet i don't know what's happening every time i do the first read of it um and 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 a little bit of investigation in terms of okay you know is everything sort of making sense for me do do i understand you know what i'm doing why i'm doing it um so there's that, and then there's um, when I'm shooting it, but when I'm shooting it, it's very much, I only try to know what I know in that scene. And often, because we block shoot and we shoot out of order, um, I have to remind myself, oh, I don't know that thing yet. And so what do I know when I'm in the scene? And then that's where I am. Yeah. 100%. And you want to add something to that? I yeah, I would like to add something. Yeah. Are you okay, Peter? Sure. You want to say something? No, absolutely. Go for it. I mean, outside my purview as an actor, I may want to know what a shot is or what a director is looking at. But for the most part, there are people that I have to trust that are in Video Village watching everything, trusting the performances are there. I can't, I can't be concerned about, you know, the overview of the show, only the moment-to-moment -moment stuff. So uh, I know the team is re professional. I have history with Mark and Stephanie. I know Anar is like incredibly talented and Lark Productions and all the people involved really, really so many people, you know, Ian and Craig. And it's like, I could just go down the list of all the people busting their asses yeah. to make a good show. And we're the face, you know, we're the face, but we're like the tip, the tip of the iceberg. There, I said it. That was wonderful. Did I say, do you want me to say it a the little tip high The tip of the, the iceberg. iceberg. No, it's it, it's so well said. It's 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 a machine, and there's so many people kind of involved. And do you feel like sometimes we forget about that, or do you think we we we, we like talk about the crew? Like, like it is. It, there's so many. Like, if there's no crew, there's no there's no allegiance, right? Can we give a shout out to the crew? Yes, please yeah. oh, give a shout out. Oh, we had sure. the, best the best crew. Yeah, we had a great crew. Again, cliche because everybody loves their crews, but we. It happened at a time when there was something going on. I won't name it by name. But there was a collective gratitude on this set from day one that bonded everybody immediately, you know? And it was just like, you could feel, it was a palpable difference between this show and other shows where everybody loves their crew, everybody loves being at work, everybody's grateful, but there was a special time in the universe, in the world. In Canada. With the in, two strikes yeah. going on at the same time, and we had the benefit of being Canadian and working so there was that. Yes, absolutely. Very quickly, I want to ask you both about your characters, because I feel like maybe this is hard to answer, or maybe it's easy, depending. But Superior, I'll start with you. Do you find there was something about this character you really liked about your character over anything else that stood out characteristic-wise? Like, I'm just curious if there's one thing you liked over others. I, yeah, I think there were, there were a number of things that drew me to Sabrina I think the um, I think the thing that was really cool is that she was the lead 
Um, and in my career up until that point, I've never I've never had the opportunity to play a lead. Um, and that also, you know, her her story was um, she's going into a very difficult scenario. Um, and you know, a lot in a, in a lot of shows, the inciting incident or whatever, right? But this was specific. Her the scenario that she's going into is specific to her her own community and her own culture, and mm-hmm. and that's something she has to overcome. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was fascinating to me. Absolutely. And what about you with your character specifically? I, I love coming in as the, uh, the not only playing the part of. Am I talking really loud? <laughs> I can't hear you. Am I? I can't I just, hear you. No, I, I love coming in as the wily veteran, as a character, but on a on a on a, a similar level, just as an actor, of of you know that worked with Mark and has been on TV and been able to play a character where I could look at her and be and be the wise ass. You know what I mean? Like try to teach this kid something and then end up learning a whole bunch himself. You know what I mean? It's like she's got some. So what I'm saying is that the best part of this whole thing was Sapinder Ratch. Absolutely. No, you, Sapinder, you're fantastic in this, and I can't wait for people to see it on, on CBC Allegiance. Thank you both for your time. It was really good chatting with you both. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.